Hi everybody and welcome back to some more MXGP 2019 here on this channel. This is part number six of my walkthrough. Now in today's episode we head for Portugal for the two races in today's episode and this is an extremely challenging circuit so this is going to be extremely tough so let's get straight into it so here we go. Right, so here we go with the first race in Portugal today. Can we get a good start? And drop the clutch at the right time. And again, that was perfect. But can we get across up the hill without getting taken out? Yes, we take the whole shot and that is a perfect start. Now, I did do some of the qualifying just to get used to the circuit. But again, they still need to fix the AI because the AI are way too quick. And I'm, I'm finishing right down the bottom anyway. And I'm just using that five minutes just to get used to the circuit. This is a very challenging circuit. So I'm hoping to get some points today. But it is going to be tough. This has been a perfect start. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, God, I almost lost the rear around that turn. Just trying to keep it steady. And they've all caught up. This is the one thing that I do find on this game. I, I, I have got some amazing starts, but it doesn't take long for them to catch up. And uh, you've always got to remember, in the uh, last couple of laps of these races, the circuit is so difficult to race on because it's all chewed up and you really struggle and it does slow you down. So you've got to try and get away as quick as you can in the first two laps. Otherwise, it is very, very challenging. But this hasn't been a bad start. Just maintain that lead that we've got. And it's the final couple of corners that I did struggle in that qualifying. And, oh God, I almost lost it there. Be careful. They don't need a second invitation to uh, run you off the track or take you out. Let's just try and weave through those sections. And, oh God, again, just losing the rear slightly. And we've allowed some to catch up. But uh, let's just try and hold the inside line side by side into that turn and we should snuff him out yes we're back in the lead just trying to keep it as controlled as possible and now the circuit is going to be a little bit more slow than it was before just trying to pick the right lines and it's look at the acceleration he had up the hill that's something that i've still struggled on just trying to get the right balance with the gearing and the setup but over time hopefully I will get it and that's not too bad around that section and again almost oh, got run off from the inside that was a really really close one but uh, we're still holding the lead and there's still over two and a half laps to go so there's a long way to try and hold on to this I'm trying my hardest to pull away but it's not easy let's just try and make sure we get through this section without any problems went a little bit wider into that turn than I would have liked but we've managed just to pick up the speed again let's just see if we can just pull away through here I seem to be a little bit slower than them through here so the first half of the circuit I seem to just develop a gap and then they all start catching up through here so let's just see if we can just extend it a little bit better we need a really good lap and again let's try and get through that corner okay and I am backing off a little bit in some of these turns because the circuit is starting to deteriorate really quickly and it's really hard to get the grip and the drive that you want and looking at the track map we've got one rider that is still keeping pace with us I'm really shocked at this. I wasn't expecting to lead for this long. I thought it would be a lot closer. And yoke off the circuit. I don't like the way this game resets you so quickly. Again, that's not too bad around that turn. There's loads of battling going on behind us. Hopefully that will work in our favour. 
but uh, I'm expecting it to all start catching up going into that final lap and I just saw him across the back of me there they're getting closer and closer we're going a little bit wider into that turn really struggling to get tight lines now and like I said this is where the circuit really shows how oh my god don't come off wow there you go that was a close one I didn't come off I'm not going to complain still holding that no, he's managed to squeeze past. Agassi has got past, and we're battling for second here. Let's just see if we can just hold on, hold him off. Yes, we managed to hold him off, and we're back into second. Can we get into first? Going on the outside of Garcia, and we want the inside really. And we just managed to sneak in the inside, and we're back in the lead. And we've managed to battle back. Now that doesn't happen very often. I must admit, on this game, I find once the AI get past, it's really hard to battle back past them but I've managed to do it so far and we enter the final lap of the race can we hold on to, for a famous victory around this Portuguese circuit now this circuit um, is so tough I remember on previous MXGP games I've always struggled on it and um, done okay so far but uh, this is the lap but we're, where we're gonna have to be very careful and it's really tough going back up the hill try and get as tight as we can into all the corners we've got to force the AI on the outside as much as we can don't want to give them an inside line because they will just fly past okay we've got a little bit wider than I would have liked but we've managed to just get out of that one okay and again slowing down in the turn and really got to be careful and accelerating out those corners so we don't lose the rear and again keeping that nice and tight oh this is going so well we haven't got far to go and we've got into that car no oh got stuck don't take me off and we've just lost one place don't panic still time we can regain first place and again got into there a little bit slow Garcia has just managed to extend He's a little bit of a lead. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Seriously. Look how quick it reset me. And I've dropped four positions. No, we're down to P6. Oh, that is just... That is so annoying. Let's see if we can just battle back. We've gone forced to the outside. And it looks like we're going to lose all those positions. Just two mistakes. And it's cost us dearly. But let's just try and finish it off. Don't lose any more places. And we finished in sixth. Oh, that is so frustrating. In the second race, I've got to learn from my mistakes. Can't afford, especially on the last laps. And I keep doing this in most of the races. The last laps, I always make a mistake. Right, let's get into the second race and see if we can do a little better than that. Right, so here I go with race two. Can I do a little bit better and learn from my mistakes? See if we can get another decent start. And drop the clutch. Another good start. Let's cut across. Up the hill. And that was absolutely perfect. And we got an invalid hole shot. I've got no idea why it does that sometimes. But anyway, we're in the lead. Don't lose it. Oh, God, off circuit there really do need to get a lead if we can on these first couple of laps you know how difficult it got into the final stages of that last race and on those last few corners I lost five positions it was so frustrating but that is how easily done it is on this game and I must admit I do like that the fact the AI are so much more competitive and they do battle really hard with you but yeah I think that last race was more my mistakes than anything else but anyway Let's just try and concentrate on this first lap. We know what we've got to do. I'm getting a little bit more experience at this circuit now. And I think you, sometimes you need that first race just to know what to expect. Let's just try and take it easy through there. If we can take a win, I'm not sure points-wise where that's going to put us overall. But uh, we want to end up on the podium. Wow. Again, just accelerating a little bit too hard out of that turn, getting a bit of a spin at the back, but managing to control it. 
but I have allowed quite a few riders to catch up. Let's try and take it steady through here. I'm finding just trying to weave through those sections is probably the best thing to do. Just managing to hold on to it. We've got someone coming down the outside that's just trying to hold an inside line. So Garcia won the first race, so as long as we stay ahead of Garcia, we've got a chance of maybe getting on the podium. Try and get tight on that turn, drive it back up the hill. Now I'm using the short gear ratio for this circuit, but I think I could have used the medium gear ratio. But I didn't change any of the settings. Um, I used the same settings I used in the previous race. So if you want to check out that, I did show you my set settings. If you want to uh, know what settings I'm using in today's race. Right, let's, let's keep it nice and tight around that turn. Trying to keep it nice and tight again. I'm trying to be as defensive as I can. Again, that's not too bad around there. This has been a good start again. through there. Now we want to go on the outside of this section and then cut into the inside. So just that was much smooth through there. We maintain more speed and if we can just go for this jump here and that is nice and then tight into this turn. Oh we went a little bit too wide. So you don't want to go wide there. You can see what almost happened there. I almost went off circuit and lost the rear. Now I did that in the uh, qualifying. Now you've got to try and take as much of those corners in the inside. Um, I'm just finding that. I might, you might feel differently but at the moment that is exactly what I'm going to do. And we go into the final two laps and we're still managing to maintain the lead. But there's still a long way to go. Anything can happen and now the circuit's going to be a lot harder to uh, maintain a decent speed. Nicely done through there just edging away we've only got, we've got one rider that seems to be sticking with our pace we really do need max, maximum points here if we can get them and again that's nicely done this is a very good fast flowing circuit i must admit it's got a bit of everything this is one of the best circuits i've raced on so far and oh no something's coming trying to overtake us just managed to hold him off there but now they're all starting to catch up I'm not sure whether the AI maintain their speed better when the, when the circuit starts to really get chewed up I just don't see that, that they slow down even when I'm behind them they seem to maintain the same speed every single lap and that's what makes the game and the races so much more challenging too bad through that turn again trying to take the outside into the inside Let's see if we can maintain the inside and oh we didn't manage to go over that section there and we've got someone coming down the outside but we're trying to take those inside that was nicely done didn't go too wide there and now we'll try and hold the inside again around this turn and again you want the inside again here yep yeah, that was nicely done and we're coming towards the final lap of the race god i'm starting to get a little bit Twitchy. We know what happened on the final lap of the last race. We can't afford to do the same. Right, final lap. The pressure's on. Let's just try not to make any mistakes. It's nicely done around there. And turns backed off. Took us a little bit wider. You can see a rider. Is he going to take the inside? Someone that's going to try and overtake us on the hill. No, we managed to get a good drive up the hill. I wonder if it's Garcia. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. He seems to always catch up right towards the end. I think he's our closest rival in this championship. That's not too bad through there. Come on. Carl, you can do this. Oh, I can see a rider. Don't know who it is. Just trying to hold it. I think it's all down to, if I, if I don't make a mistake, we've got the win. If I make a mistake, well, you saw how many riders got past us in the last lap of the last race. And, oh, I thought he was going to squeeze past there, but just managed to drive down the hill. Right, this is where I'm about to make a mistake. Going really wide, that slowed us down. Oh, I thought he was going to run us off there, but we just managed to accelerate back up this section. 
so close to the end. And just keep it nice and tight through there. Can we actually learn from our mistakes? I think we might be able to come to the final stages. Oh, this is oh, this is awesome. As long as we don't muck up this last corner, let's just try and take it slowly. Just to make sure we get the win. Final corner, don't overdo it. To the line, and there we go. We take a win. Awesome. Oh, that was so tough. You have to be so concentrated in every single race of this game. There's no letting up. Right, let's get straight into the final results. So here we go. Right, so let's check out the standings and we finished second overall. That is not bad. I will take that off that poor first race and finishing sixth. I didn't think I'd get on the podium, but we did recover and we learned from those mistakes we made in that first race on that last lap. So I'm really happy about that. And this is definitely one of the best circuits I've raced on so far. Right, so where's that going to put us in the championship? Now, we were leading before and we're still all 39 points in the lead. So overall, we're not doing too bad, but we're just about to jump in to find out what circuit's coming next in this walkthrough so we're going to jump in, into that now so here we go right so for the next episode we go to france and that is a very tough circuit one of the hardest circuits i've ever raced on on an mxgp game so that is going to be extremely tough to win that on that one but anyway thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash the like button subscribe and i will see you very very soon